this is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we're going to show you how to check, replace, or clean a filter in a Graco 695 sprayer. And right here, this is the housing that holds the, the filter for the sprayer. And that housing typically should just be hand tied. A lot of times it gets gets put on there pretty tight or and, and just won't come off. It gets paint up inside there, gets stuck, and you're going to have to get a large pair of channel locks. Hopefully it's just hand tight and it'll just come off with your hands. So just going to unscrew that thing. To keep it from leaking, it doesn't need to be put on there with a wrench and tighten down the wrench. It just needs to be hand tight. Just going to pull that off. Now here's your exposed filter. That filter will actually just come free. And that filter, you want to take it out to a hose and squirt it off really good, clean it out really good. Make sure there's no debris up inside your cap. You can put that filter back on. You're going to stick it down inside. And I, I like to take around my threads right here, I like to take some some packing lubricant and put it around these threads just so any paint doesn't dry on there and glue that on there. If there's any debris or anything like that, it'll always keep them loose and keep it so it's just hand tight. Just gonna put it back on, screw it down, hand tight, it's good to go. That's how quick you can clean a filter. You want to actually clean that filter depending on use. Check it once a week, at least once a month, unless you're not using that sprayer hardly. But you want to have that filter good and clean. If the filter gets clogged and it's not allowing paint to pass through, you could drop your pressure. You could start having spray pattern problems, getting some fingering and spitting. So keep that filter fresh and clean. This is Chris, the Idaho Painter, videoing to you from Boise, Idaho.